Now here what we are doing is we are writing the patterns and we are writing the response. So pair basically consists of a list of patterns and response. So pattern which matches the user input and if there is a match then the response is given and you can add multiple responses. So if there is a pattern match then response is chosen at random time. Similarly you can add more such training phrases or more such intents to the bot. Now for example if you want to take the input from the user and if you want to use that you can do that with the help of regular expressions. Now let's do a simple thing. For example if user write my name is so and so then your bot should pick up the name of the user and should address the person with his or her name. Okay, so what we are going to write is I am, for example, if user writes some names. So we have to take the name of the user and the bot will respond with his or her name. How are you? How are you is a normal response, but for example, if my bot wants to respond, or to address the person then what I need to do is I will take the name of the person so I can do that with the help of person one now to understand all this regular expression if you want to master this regular expressions then you can go to the official website of the Python and in the official website check the regular expression tab and in that tab you will get to see all the regular expressions each and every regular expression is explained here why we are using dot so in the dot means it matches any character except a new line so that's why we use dot then why we are using star dot star so star means it causes the resulting array to match zero or more repetition of the preceding array for example in case if someone writes my name is uh, ram singh so ram singh ram is the one word and singh is the another word so it will matches both the words if you want to just uh, address the person with the first name then you can write plus sign instead of writing the star sign you can write plus sign so because it causes the resulting array to match one or more repetitions of the preceding array so there are different regular expressions which are there so what you need to do is you have to go through all this regular expression and you have to try out all this regular expression if you want to master the skill so here the different list of regular expression is given these are the regular expression and this is the meaning which is given here so you can use this regular expression in your code to make your bot smarter so this is the link this is the official python page so you can go here and you can check all the syntax of the regular expression so what we are doing here is we are going to match the name of the user we are going to print the name of the user in the response so when the person will write i am so and so my name is so and so in that case the bot will respond how are you so and so for example if i write i am john then the bot will respond how are you john so this is how you can create the intent and response with the help of uh, the regular expression now we will add more such intents more such queries to the bot now one thing i missed here is i am creating a list so instead of just writing like this i have to create a multiple list so i need to put everything in a list so this is one list now i have to put another thing We are creating multiple list. 
in pairs. Okay. Now, this is the greeting part. Now, the next thing is general questions which generally the user can ask like what do you do or how are you so we will train our bot with these type of questions as well so just copy paste now i'm going to copy paste the entire syntax because it's difficult to write all these things each and every time so for example if the user writes what do you do for example if the user wants to know why what is the purpose of this bot then the user can ask what do you do so we are not creating a bot for some specific purpose we are just creating this bot for the sake of conversation just for the sake of the time pass so the bot will write i chat i chat with people i like to talk my job is you will give multiple response you can also give multiple response by adding this or symbol i like to talk so the next is we will add more questions to it now for example if your bot asks you how are you we will add one more regular expression for example if the user writes how are you then you then you will respond bot will respond i am i am fine how are you i am fine now in case if your bot asks you how are you then in that case you will write i am fine thank you or i am good for example if you want to like here what we did we substituted the name with the dot and star similarly you can also substitute the sentence for example if someone writes i am fine or i am good or or simply write i am doing good so these are the different sentences right so you can't just hard code all these sentences in the code so we can substitute the part of sentence with star and dot so similarly what i'm going to do is i'm going to substitute the part of sentence dot and star so that the bot will understand bot will understand that yes the sentence is relevant and instead of just matching each and every parameter each and every character each and every word the bot will just try to figure out the context of the sentence and will respond accordingly now let's write so it means that the preceding sentence will be anything and it will end with good or fine so if someone writes i'm fine i am good so these are the two different sentences right so if the user writes like this and if the sentence ends with good and fine then in that case the bot will respond great or all right so these are the two different response the bot will give like great so what we did we replaced the part of sentence with the dot and star part okay now before adding more questions to this bot 
Now what we will do is we will create a function for this bot and we will run this code first. And after running this code, we will understand how our bot is talking and then accordingly we will add more responses to the bot and we will also learn more interactive features of the Python.